is the story of the three little pigs. Once upon a time, there was a mother pig on a farm who had three little piglets. When the little piglets grew up, Mama Pig told them, It's time for you all to go out into the world and make lives of your own. And so, the three pig brothers left the farm and the barn they called home and went out into the world. The first little pig was quite lazy and he did not go very far from the farm before he said, I will build my house right here in this field. This little pig did not like to work hard, so he built a house out of straw that he found nearby and then he took a nap. The second little pig was not quite as lazy as his brother, but he too did not like to work very hard. He wandered past the farm and into the woods. I will build my house here in the forest. He gathered some sticks and he built a house out of wood and then he played for the rest of the day. The third little pig was a very hard worker. He traveled past the farm and through the woods until he came to the top of a small but pleasant hill. I will build my house here at the top of this hill. It took him all day and all night, and he did not have the time to take a nap or to play. But when he was done, he had built himself a fine, sturdy house built out of bricks. And so, the three little pigs each had a home of their own. But the very next day, a big, bad wolf ventured down the lane and passed the farm where the pigs were born. Soon he came to a strange little house made out of straw. The big, bad wolf was quite hungry. He growled, I smell a little pig inside. That would make a fine meal. So he knocked on the door of the straw house and said, Little pig, little pig, let me in. But the first little pig saw the wolf's pointy ears through a window, and he said, No, no, I won't let you in. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. The wolf could see that the straw house was quite flimsy. So he bared his teeth and shouted, Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. The big bad wolf took a very deep breath, and then, whoosh, with a mighty huff, the wolf blew the straw house down. It fell apart right on top of the little pig. The wolf opened his jaw wide, ready for his meal, but the frightened little pig ran away as fast as he could down the lane to his brother's house. So the big bad wolf followed him into the woods, and soon he came to a curious house made of sticks. The wolf snarled, I smell two little pigs inside. They would make a great meal. He knocked on the door of the wooden house and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. But the two little pigs saw the wolf's dark fur through a window. They said, No, no. Let you in. Not by the hands of our chin chin chin. The wolf could see that the house made of sticks was not very sturdy, so he growled and bellowed. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The big bad wolf took a very deep breath and then, whoosh, with a mighty puff, the wolf blew the stick house down. It collapsed right on top of the two little pigs. The wolf was very hungry and he tried to catch both little pigs at once. But the scared little pigs scrambled away as fast as they could. They ran down the lane to their brother's house. The big bad wolf was quite angry that he did not catch either of the little pigs. So he chased them through the woods until he came to a third house on top of a hill. The house was made of bricks and looked very sturdy. The wolf hadn't eaten all day. He said, I smell three little pigs inside. That would be the finest meal of all. He knocked on the door of the brick house and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. But the three little pigs inside could see the wolf's sharp, shining teeth through a window. And they said, No, no, we won't let you in. Not by the hands of our chinny chin chin. The wolf saw that the brick house was very well made. But still he snarled. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Go ahead and try, said the third little pig. So the big bad wolf took a very deep breath and then whoosh. But nothing happened. The brick house did not fall down. The angry wolf tried again.
again to blow the house down. He huffed and he huffed and he puffed and he puffed, but the bricks did not move. By then, the big bad wolf was so hungry and so exhausted and so out of breath that he fell right over. The three little pigs saw through the window that the wolf was panting and could not move, so they dared to come out of the house. Together, the three of them rolled the tired old wolf down the hill. He tumbled and rolled over and over, all the way down the hill. Then he splashed into a river, and the water carried him away quickly. The big bad wolf was never, ever seen again. The three little pigs were safe, and the first two pigs learned a valuable lesson about working hard. They built their own houses out of bricks right there on top of the hill. And the three little pigs lived happily ever after. The end. Remember to play.